Um, we have to thank Jamie and Annie Sauerberger for our new Baking with Mark and James apron. They're exactly in the same as the other ones. But they're great and we love them. But thank we you. love them. Baking with Mark and James. We are making shortbread lemon tarts. Your guess is as good as mine. James, are you done yet? Thank you to my sister, Danielle, for this beautiful tart pan. Oh, and also this juicer thing, which you're gonna get to see in a minute. I don't think you watch them, there's stickers on them. <laughs> think I don't know about zesting? If I had a baby, I'd name it Zesting. Help me, Rhonda. It's Al's favorite song. Does anyone want me to come over tomorrow? I'll bring you this, whatever the hell it is we're making. You'll need an outdoor space. How do you guys zest at home? Comment below. Do they sell zest at Whole Foods? This can't be the way I a gardener does it. Absolutely, Anna Garten does it. What about Tom Colicchio? Um, now I'm just naming no. chefs. Padma Lakshmi. What about Gail, is she a chef? Does she say yes, chef? I hate that. I cannot stand that. That's right, chef. Let's see, no, his name's Steve. And even doctors, you don't say thank you, doctor. You do if you're Audrey. Thank you, doctor. Does anyone know? Comment below if you know Audrey from Little Chef's last name. Howard Ashman probably knows, R.I.P. Oh my God, orange in my eyeballs! I'm getting sprayed. Do you have goggles? Everyone knows, once you're a celebrity, you don't need glasses. Tom, can you get a shot of this? I have no idea what I'm doing. So turn it on first. Shh. Oh my God, get it, get a shot of this. He's making juice and it's pulled, grabbing the seeds even. Get that seed before my dog eats it. And on one second, we'll be right back here. You do have to clean it out because the seeds will overtake it. Oh my God. Oh my, the, the wonders, will wonders ever cease? Remember to freeze your orange rind. You could put sherbet in there or you would dug, dig this out and then you put national brand sherbet in it. Uh, sorbet, it's like a whole lemon filled oh, with yeah, sorbet, lemon sorbet, and you feel like you're in Italy. Like you feel like you're in Capri, or as they say, Capri. Capri. Blend that. We are using everything in the house. Mm -hmm. This is the Vitamix. It was like so expensive. It's like nooky new. Is the thing about Vitamix is like if you use it all the time. Oh. After these messages, we'll be right back. I have to thank the good people at Chevrolet for supporting this program. Okay. I think we'll watch these when we're like 70 and like be like, I can't believe how young we were. Just me at 70. What the hell are we doing? I'm about to make some crust. Let me just order a pizza. James, I make crust legitimately every weekend. Do not help me. Yeah, don't. I said do not help me, even if I ask for help. It's like the first day of being blind, you know? I'm an independent woman. Ow, my hands are. No! Seems like you're trying to sabotage me. You know powdered sugar from the festivals. I feel like the kind of parents, like, you know, my mom makes frosting every weekend. So I'm just putting in my ice cubes butter. Okay, so when, like, when you did it, it was perfect, but when I did it, it was like, I don't like the way you're doing it. That's literally what you just said. Sure. Yeah, that's Sam. Sure. That's Sandy Dombrowski, star of Grease. What's her name in the movie? Comment below. Olivia Newton-John, my first crush that I can remember having. Didn't work out for her. But now, anytime I was near like a kid's pool, I would try to put a piece of paper in there and like, push it around. I should tell you what to do. I think we should sit down and watch television. <laughs> You want it to be good, or you want it to be right? But now, there's no, I didn't change the audio, too high for me. This show has been brought to you by the country of Greece. <laughs> Americans, you're not allowed to go there, or anywhere. You're stuck here. I was happy and fulfilled as a housewife, now look at me. How many weeks have we been here? March 15, April 15, April 15 to May 15, May 15 to June 15, June 15 to July, yes. So four months we've been in this apartment. James hasn't even gotten a haircut in this whole time. Mrs. Dawn again, I do not yell at your son. <laughs> that is television Tracy Gold. So I'm just gonna pour this in. Do you see that I'm pouring a circular motion? Why are you laughing at me? Is that it? Oh my God, this might be the greatest thing we've ever made. Pause. Really? Let's go to commercial. <laughs> if you're not watching Marcella on Netflix, are you even watching TV? You know what I'd love to have? A fire pizza. Pizza out of a fire oven. Why don't you open up another theater school while you're at it? 
hopelessly devoted. Okay, the new ad for Disney World looks like they're trying to sell coronavirus. Is that what it's supposed to look like? All right, we're gonna let this cool and then we'll dust it and cut it and... Dust it with what? Powdered sugar. Real dust. <laughs> well guys, we are back. Um, our lemon tart, is that, what is this? Our lemon tart is cute. Look at this. I just like to tap on it is really the best way to do it. Tap it. Is this easier for who? Not my hand. Oh my, I mean, that looks like a commercial for cakes. Right. What happens with the bottom thing that's so loosey goosey? Oh my God. Right. Cheers. Really good. It tastes like a lemon bar like my mom used to make. It tastes like a lemon bar. I think what we have here is a winning pie. Winning good. If you're looking for something light and sweet and flavorful for this summer, look no further than Mark and James's lemon tart. <laughs> Comment below if you make one. See you next week. Baking with Mark and James.